All right, it is almost time for the PlayStation Showcase, May 24th, 2023. I'm excited for this. I think they said it's going to be like an hour long, so I have some predictions. I'm wearing the part today, too. Uh, so real quick, we're just going to kind of go over some thoughts that I had on May 17th. So what I'm thinking is kind of some general predictions, some I think way more likely than others. Uh, Spider-Man 2, I think, is going to be the big game they're showing for, like, this fall, maybe holiday season. There were uh, rumors online, I think one of the voice actors, like, Spoiled is coming out in September, but we are almost there. We're, like, in May. Haven't really seen a lot yet. I'm thinking we're going to, at the very least, get a trailer. If it's coming out this year, we're getting a release date. I think September is still very possible. Don't know. Uh, I think that's going to be just, like, the big Sony game for sure. I've also loved to see any sort of update the Silent Hill 2 remake, I think, with survival horror games being up on the rise, you know? It's a really good opportunity, especially following Resident Evil 4 remake. Give us more information on that. I think that game's gonna be a slam dunk if executed well. Konami, though? We'll see, we'll see. Um, I think with Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, one of my most anticipated games, we are on the cusp of getting Final Fantasy 16. So, if we see a lot of 16, I don't think we'll see it today. If we get a little bit of 16, I think we might get a teaser if they really want to double dip in Final Fantasy. Um, I don't think it's coming out this year, just because of how hard they've been pushing like the other Final Fantasy game, 16, and everything. I'd love to be wrong. If it comes out this year, I'll, I'll make time for it. But I think it's very possible it will get to, like, delayed to 24, because I think it's right now stated for holiday. So we will see. I'd love to be wrong on that. Um, just some kind of other random things I think might show up. Seeing some sort of update to Death Stranding 2 would be a big thing. Um, seeing more of Slitterhead, which is the game by the guy who made, like, Silent Hill. Um, that game we got, like, a teaser for at a showcase, I think, like, a year ago at this point, and I, kind of nothing since then. I think that'd be really cool to see more of that, because that game looked gross, like, in a good way. Um, and then also Blue Point. I feel like Blue Point haven't really heard from them in a while. They did, like, all those, you know, PlayStation, like, remasters and updates and everything. Um, I'm trying to think what the last game they did. It was Demon's Souls, which is a launch title. So back in, like, what, 20... When did the PS5 come out? Like, 2019 or something? It's been a couple years. So I'm thinking if we see, like, a really cool remake or something from them, or maybe an original game or something, I don't know. Blue Point's officially part of the PlayStation family, so I'd love to see whatever they're doing, because they always make really good quality work. Um, and then, of course, every PlayStation Direct, I always say the same thing. You know what it's about. It's Sly Cooper, baby. We gotta see something. I'm begging for Sly Cooper. So I was getting ready for the stream and I got my energy drink and it comes in like a box of four of those cans. I tried to break the box down and I got the gnarliest paper cut. Ooh, it's just stung. But I got a, a Pokemon Band-Aid. It's Wobbuffet. I don't know if you can see it. All right, we're running this. If it's scuffed, it's first time using my PS3 webcam. So that's cool. Um, I have my notes ready to start taking notes, so that'll be exciting. Um, I like to keep notes of everything that's happened, so we reflect. I can remember everything I show, so I don't have to Google everything. So that'll be fun. I got my can. So I'm gonna crack it when we actually get like the the next step here. Oh. Woo! Brace yourself. I don't know, this is fancier then, huh? Hi everyone. I'm Jim Ryan, president and CEO hey, of Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm delighted to be here today to introduce what's next for PlayStation 5. We're yeah. now into the third year of the life cycle of PS5, and we've been fortunate to have so are. many fan favorite titles released on the platform. What's even more exciting is that developers are just scratching the surface of what's possible with the gaming <laughs> You can really tell he's reading a teleprompter. Today, you'll get a glimpse into some of the most breathtaking and imaginative content that will be coming to PS5 and PlayStation VR 2. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Enjoy the show. What I've been waiting for? Let's see it. Ghost Runner. Did, is this game already a thing? 
Maybe it's another. Oh, oh that was a, it. Was a two. Oh, I get graphic design. But say, kind of give me some jury vibes here. He's sick! <laughs> Journey Hawks Pro Skater 2. I've not played these games, but they really all just kind of feel like the same vibe, you know? I think if you love that vibe, you're gonna love it. If not, it's just kind of like, eh. If we still have faith. Oh shoot, that's a game. Cool. All right, we like Chris. That one's probably gonna be fun. I'd like to see the gameplay though. Yo, is that Cat Quest? <laughs> Let's go! I haven't played the first one yet. Get that dog game out of here or it's cat time, baby! Nice! What a great, perfect trailer. We saw gameplay, we know it exists. Strong IP. This looks good. The Peruvian? <laughs> Heck yeah. Everyone shut the fuck up. Okay, I... Cards on the table. I don't know okay. what this is. It's a showtime! Wait, is this supposed to be like Splatoon? But it's soap. It's making the same noise! It's just Splatoon! They're just copying Splatoon! Foam? But it's foam, it's an ink! This looks really saturated. Like, it's kind of too much. They really thought they could use the too. Like an EDM skin. Maybe if it's fun. For the foam star party. Foam star. <laughs> Let's go, Square Enix Platoon. Yo, this is tear down. Oh, tear down is so good. I love tear down. I thought this was already on PlayStation. Yes! Oh man, I would buy that game again. <laughs> nice! Good on them! Teardown's a really unique, awesome, awesome game. So good to see that.
Ew. Ew. Ugh. Zoom out, please. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I don't like this already. No, dude, come on. Why would you go through that? Is like war or something happening? All those noises. Ew. Would a bird eat a frog like that? There's always a bigger fish. Is that a man? Oh, shoot! There it is, baby! There it is! What a thrill. There it is, baby! Is that supposed to be a three? What is that? Oh, man. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. That's gonna look so sick on PS5. Holy moly. Yo! Wait, those aren't gonna be remastered. They're gonna be like ports, probably. Still, pretty sick. Let's see the Breath of the Wild influence here. Is that Shelter? Hours of uh, uh, I'm, okay. That sounds like Final Fantasy. That's a crystal. This is Final Fantasy. There it is. Creative Business Unit Three. Let's go. Sick box art. We've seen a lot I'm trapped here in this nightmare. I write Gross. to escape. Every word is a step forward. <gasps> Into darkness. Wait, right? <gasps> this is I'm Alan Wake to too. This case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? Alan. My name's Alan Wake 2. <laughs> oh, that's so soon! Sick. <gasps> Ezio! A casual way to show Assassin's Creed. Welcome, hidden one. What's that Altair? Because he's missing the finger. I'm just diving right into it. Okay, they know what they're about. You have died. Mirage. Did we know about this already? That was like very casual drop that comes out like very soon. Night in the Woods? May, what happened? You're going feral. Dude, skeletons and people working together? This looks sick! I like Night in the Woods a lot. Grand Blue. Cool. More like Grand Who. Oh. Oh, Street Fighter. 
I should have expected that this would be here. Despite having no real need to be. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were a complete idiot. Masters, he was set up. Oh, he, Ken was set up. What happened to Ken? Apparently, he has like a really tragic I'm really story. To chase after a monster like that. It's probably worth looking into this nice <laughs> shop business. Get the hair. There she is. I want the world to know that I was a Cami fan before this game came out. I don't speak French. Is this Monster Hunter? Is there French in- is Monster Hunter sent in Paris? Is there French in that? Oh, it's Dragon's- <laughs> Oh, the dragon. And it's brought Dogma, too. <laughs> no, that buffalo! He better be okay. There it is, VR2. Is this the VR section of the presentation? Don't end on VR. It's gonna be so boring. I don't have the money to buy a fucking... <gasps> now, I think I could maybe find some money for this. Just came out and they already got the VR mode on lock. Oh, this game's like action-oriented as heck! How are they gonna make VR with this? How do you hold the knife when you're a two-handed weapon, so? Or you better book it. <laughs> Let's go! Although I can't imagine doing like the water hall in VR. <laughs> or like anything in the church in VR. In development, okay. That makes sense. Take as much time as you need for that one. That's gonna be sick. That's the reason they get VR. The speed saver. Hands down. Marathon? What? Holy crap! That's cool! That one's for all the boomers out there. A movie? Best oh. Gran Turismo players in the world. Okay. Will compete for a place in racing. Oh, <laughs> wait, it's about the people who play the game are actually gonna race in the movie? You just gamers are putting behind the wheel? I did not know that was the plot, and now I'm infinitely more intrigued if that's the plot of the movie. I thought it was just gonna be like a racing game, like a racing movie. We get into our final game. Final game. I have a few announcements to share. Okay. At PlayStation, innovation is our passion. And that applies to not just what games you play, but how you play them. Later this year, we will launch a dedicated device that enables you to stream any game from your PS5 console using remote play over Wi-Fi. Whoa! It's known as Project Q. It has an 8-inch HD screen. It's their version of Switch! The buttons and features of the what the heck? Controller. We look forward to sharing more information in the near future. What the heck is that? I'm pleased to reveal our first ever PlayStation earbuds, which will bring next cool, generation Cool, PlayStation audio AirPods. To PS5 Dude, what is that, like, Switch PC. screen? They simultaneously Please don't make a new portable play with that. Like, I can take that out of my home new and play wireless games. Technology but it has to be installed on the PS5? Latency, giving you outstanding so how does that work? It could be playing. in your home, I bet. Look out for more details soon. Um, he's not normally like that, right? No. He's never like that. I can't wait to see the fight, Peter. Fall. Okay, okay. Cool. So, PlayStation Showcase 2023. Let's pull up the notes that I let I made so a lot of this were things that I am so far not really interested in and that is okay because games are broad and it's a lot of new things they're doing looks like a lot of those random studios that PlayStation has acquired over the last couple years we're starting to see like games are actually making you know kind of beefing up that first party lineup so that's good uh, always like to give new things a chance to shine especially things that are actually new 
Um, a lot of the games in the first half felt kind of samey or a little bit generic -y to me. Too early. They're all like CG trailers trying to get you on it, right? So, very early. Um, I'll kind of keep an eye on some of these as we're going through with like future directs and whatever. To see what they're going to look like. Um, good to see some of the rumored stuff like Metal Gear Solid 3. That's probably the big one. Um, now we have Silent Hill 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, like, remakes, tease, but, like, just telling us that they're coming at some point. Um, oh. Is this still... Oh, it's, this is, oh. Uh, just ignore my suggestions there. Uh, there's Herman. Where were you? I want to see more of you instead of Jim. Spider-Man 2, whoa. Yeah, here we go, this is exactly what I was talking about. Haven Firework Studios, for games they got, that they're coming with. Uh, I don't remember which ones they did, but that's exactly what I was saying, is, like, Sony is building up, buying these other studios, and, like, trying to actually push something with them, like, have them show stuff, which is great. Why is Separate Ways trending? Why is Separate Ways trending? <laughs> Everyone wanted this for... <laughs> People wanted this for the Direct! I didn't even think about that. Oh man, I would have been totally here. Like, please give us separate ways announcement. Oh man. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're getting out of here. Not like a lot of surprises for me personally. Um, kind of the big things that, like, you know, they're they're showing a lot of things that we already know were coming. Like the big releases this year, like Street Fighter. We got Final Fantasy 16. We got uh, a bunch of other stuff. And I believe this was was titled mostly like for 2023 stuff is what they were talking about so i think it's good that they're showing kind of what's coming up soon and not too far into the future we got a little bit of 24 in there but overall pretty all right i guess nothing really new that i'm like i gotta get you know what i mean let's go back to my uh let's let's go back and see how right i was with things i was looking for let's see spider-man release date fall we'll take that salem hill 2 Ooh, it didn't get anything there I don't think it's a remake. Ooh. Well, it wasn't here, so it's probably a soft confirm that it's 24, right? Ooh, didn't see any of this stuff either. And nothing for Sly Cooper. So overall, I, I got the big obvious one right. We take those. We take those. I give my